ugly. Five. 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 Who are the best and who are the worst NFL teams? It's Mike Gill's Fine Five and Ugly Five on 97.3 ESPN-FM, South Jersey's football station. Now, obviously, a playoff edition, so all 12 teams are fine. But there's fine and uglies once you get to the playoffs. So, who are the five best playoff teams and who are the five worst playoff teams? These are essentially the teams we think have the best shot of winning the Super Bowl and the teams that have the worst shot at winning the Super Bowl. So, Josh, let's start with the ugly five. Who are the five worst teams in the field? Let's start with number five. I'm going with the Chiefs. I was kind of teetering on this one, but I'm still not thrilled with their defense. I think they'll win this upcoming playoff game against the Titans. I think that's as far as they will go. I just have a lot of confidence in this team and Andy Reid moving forward, especially with the fact that they basically had an up-and-down season. Um, you like them more than I do. Uh, I have Atlanta number five right now. They're playing from the sixth spot. The defending champions of the NFC, they're going to have to win on the road three times to make it back to the Super Bowl. Offensively, they still have some issues. They have some firepower, but they're just not the same team. Interestingly enough, they're 5-3 and three at home and 5-3 and three on the road. So, it just screams that this team is good, not great. And to win a Super Bowl, you've got to be great in some area, and I don't think they are. It's funny you mentioned about this. They're my number four team on my ugly because of the same reason that offense has been such a crazy drop off i actually the defense is still solid their defense points wise has given up less than la mm-hmm. carolina and new orleans and remember they didn't have desmond trufant last year for the, for the postseason run they have him this year i think that atlanta's defense may be a factor versus the rams But is that offense really consistent enough? I have no confidence in that. Number four, Jacksonville for me. Defensively, they can win the Super Bowl with that defense. They legitimately can win the Super Bowl with that defense. And I'll tell you what, Josh. If they got a bye and didn't have to play a third game, I might say that Jacksonville was going to go to the Super Bowl with that defense. But I can't imagine Blake Bortles winning three games for them to get to a Super Bowl. They're not ready on the offensive side of the ball even though they scored 417 points. Their defense is that good that I think they'll win this weekend, but I think that might be the end of the road for them. Asking Blake Bortles to make plays in the playoffs is not a recipe for a Super Bowl. So Jacksonville, number four in my ugly five. Mike, my number three team may surprise some people. I have the Panthers at number three, and here's why. I still don't believe in that secondary. I think that secondary can get torched. I like their front seven on defense. I don't like the secondary. I think Cam has been up and down, very inconsistent this year. When Devin Funches is your best wide receiver, you're not you're not giving me much on the offense. So the offense got some issues. The defense has got some issues. Panthers, I got them at three in my uglies. Uh, Three for me is Kansas City. You know how much I liked Kansas City earlier in this year. I had them number one in the fine five for a long time. They got off to that 5-0 start. They looked like they were a Super Bowl team. They lost Eric Berry. But then it wasn't just Berry. The offense, I mean, Hunt went into some funk there. They didn't run the ball nearly as well. And they just never seemingly recovered from that. They have played better. They're 6-2 at home. I think being at Arrowhead will give them enough of a lift to win their first game against Tennessee. They've won four in a row to close out the year here. I just don't feel Kansas City, though, has something special about them. Not yet, anyway. Maybe it's when they go to Mahomes down the road with Hunt and Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. Maybe that's the Super Bowl core. I just don't think it's this team right now. And... Because I have them lower than Jacksonville because I think Jacksonville's defense can, even if they're inept on offense, that defense can do something to get them a victory. I don't know that Kansas City has that special feature. Mike, my number two ugly team are the Tennessee Titans. Marcus Mariota is banged up with the ankle and the hamstring. The defense has been inconsistent all year. It's actually statistically one of the worst defenses in the postseason right now. Of all the 12 playoff teams, also let's not forget 
DeMarco Murray didn't play last week. He's got that grade three MCL partial tear. Will he even be available this week? I don't think the Titans are going to win a playoff game. Uh, I've got Tennessee number two as well. I mean, they don't do anything special. Great season for them to get back into the playoffs for the first time in a while. I like Mariota coming into the league. I, I, you know, I think it's a nice story that he's gotten there ahead of Winston. But there's nothing redeeming about this team. They're just a team that happened to be in the playoffs in a weak AFC field. Tennessee, number two in the Uglies. Well, my number one ugly, I think we both agree, is the Buffalo Bills. Yep. The worst point differential of any team heading into the postseason. For a team with a defensive, former defense coordinator as their head coach, to give up as many points as they had this year is very bizarre. Do you consider him for coach of the year? No. They Not went, at all. They went 9-7 and seven with that roster. They only scored 302 points. How can you be coach of the year if you snuck into the playoffs? Did anybody think that team was going to make the playoffs? No. Okay, there's a reason. But nobody, How could you be coach of the year? I made it to the playoffs and nobody thought I could. Because there's two coaches who are much more deserving than him. Okay, I'm just saying, three, do you actually, give him any three. consideration? No, no For consideration. For a team that was that inept, made the playoffs. Listen, he may be one of the most in-shape head coaches in the NFL, but he's not coach of the year. Uh, I mean, I, I too, I mean, Buffalo, they traded all their receivers away. They're all playing in the playoffs right now with the Rams. They traded their best defensive player away. They gave up their best defensive player before the season to Philly. They gave up their other defensive player the year before to Philly and Bradham. I mean, this was a team that was tearing it apart and somehow made the playoffs. I guess McDermott, and not to mention he had the boneheaded decision to go to Peterman in a game who threw five picks, and then he went back to Taylor. I still think you got to give him consideration for Coach of the Year. Maybe he's not the number one, but I think he's got to have consideration. But that being said, they're the worst team in the field. They're number five in the ugly five. All right, who are the five best teams? These are the five teams that have the best chance to win the Super Bowl five up. Go. My best team, number five, Jaguars. They had the best defense of all the AFC teams. I think, like you said earlier, that defense could carry them to a playoffs. I love that defense. They're called Saxonville for a reason. And I think Jalen Ramsey is going to make at least one wide receiver in this postseason fight with him. Uh, number five for me is Philly. Defense is going to have to do it. They do have the weapons on offense. They can run the ball with Ajayi. They can run short yardage with Blunt. They've got the uh, screen game with Corey Clement. Zach Ertz, one of the best tight ends, if not the best in the league when it comes to getting that third down. I think a key will be Alshon Jeffrey in the playoffs. The 50-50 ball might be something that they need to go to. Remember, Nick Foles had a lot of success just chucking it up and having guys make plays. You remember Riley Cooper had an unbelievable year for the Eagles? A lot of that was him just using his big body and going up over defenders. Can they watch the film of that and say, Alshon, just go up over some of these smaller defenders and make plays? But I like Philly as the fifth team in my fine five. My number four team is the best defense in the NFC playoffs, in my opinion, and that is the Minnesota Vikings. I think that defense is phenomenal. I think Harrison Smith is on a mission to prove why he should have been a Pro Bowl selection. And I think that despite Case Keenum being the starting quarterback, they have a running game, they have a defense, and sometimes that'll get you far in the postseason. Vikings are number four. Number four for me is New Orleans as the Saints have a good running game. They've got the Super Bowl pedigree with the quarterback and the coach. They've got a very good defense, but we just read off their schedule. They did not play a very demanding schedule. A couple of the playoff teams they did play, Minnesota, New Orleans, I mean, New England, they lost those games. A couple of games late in the year, they only won two and four down the stretch, uh, two and two down the stretch in their last four games. So they're not coming in playing their best football, the Saints, but I still like them as my number four team in the Fine Five. Uh, Saints are my number three team in the Fine Five. What I like about the Saints that I don't like about the other NFC teams, two words, Super Bowl. Who has won a Super Bowl of the NFC teams? It is Drew Brees. I think Drew Brees is a difference maker in the playoffs for the Saints. They are my number three team. It just also happens to help. They have a running game and a solid defense. Number two, uh, number three for me is Minnesota. I think they have the best defense in the NFC, probably the second best defense left in the field. 
They get to play at home. They're going to have to win potentially on the road. But if Philly gets upset, they would be the team. They wouldn't have to leave at all because the Super Bowl is in their building. And for those reasons, I like Minnesota with the defense, the home field, playing still good football. Even when they clinched and won the division and then were the two seed, they still kept winning. I like Minnesota. Number three in my fine five. My number two are the Steelers, but it is totally contingent on Antonio Brown's health. I think Antonio Brown is healthy and he's good to go in that divisional round. I think the Steelers are prohibitive number two. Without him, they got a lot of questions to answer, especially without Ryan Shazier on defense. Yeah, I got the Steelers number two as well. Defense, 308. Offense, 406. 13 and 3. They win at home, 6 and 2. They win on the road, 7 and 1. Um, it's going to be a fun AFC championship game if those two guys get there, but it's going to be in New England because of that game uh, that the Steelers let slip away a couple of weeks ago. But I still think that the Steelers and the Patriots, number one, are the two best teams in the league. I asked Willie McGinnis this tonight at 5 30. Regardless of who wins the NFC, is the AFC going to be the favorite with either Pittsburgh or New England? I mean, Patriots are my number one. I, don't, I, I believe you have number one as well, Mike. It's. Listen, it's Brady, it's Belichick, it's home field advantage. The odds are in the Patriots' favor. Interestingly enough, the two teams that were left out by both of us were, well, I left out the Rams. We're not on either side. I left the Rams out, too. And I left out Carolina. Which was the team you left out? I left out the Eagles. You left out the Eagles. So you have the Eagles as kind of in no man's land. Yep. All right. It's our fine five and ugly five. They're brought to you by Miller Lite. The original light beer brewed to have more taste with only 96 calories. Hold true. 